good in the students. Now exercise 2.3, question number 8, to prove 2 power n plus 6 into 9 power n is divisible by 7. What is divisible by 7? For all positive integers n. For any positive integer n, this is always divisible by 7. We want to prove. We shall see. Uh, for an example, I can take when n is equal to 1. Okay? n is equal to 1 means this becomes 2 power 1 plus 6 into 9 power 1. That is 2 plus 9, 6 are 54. So this is 56. Is 56 divisible by 7? Yes, 56 is divisible by 7. Or uh, like is n is equal to we can take, but generally we have to prove 2 power n plus 6 into 9 power n is always divisible by 7. Let's see. First of all, I take this 2. Okay? This 2 is congruent to 2 mod 7. You know this? 2 is congruent to 2 mod 7. What is the division algorithm for 2 and 7? Then 2 is divided by 7. What is the remainder? See, 2 and 7, we can write like this. 2 is equal to 7 into 0 plus 2. How many 7s are in 2? No 7s are there. 7 into 0. Quotient to 0, remainder is 2. So we get 2. So 2, when divided by 7, the remainder is 2. So 2 is complement to 2 mod 7. So we can write like this always. Okay? Then. I am writing on some repeated things like this. 2 power 2 into 2, then this so many times I am writing, I am writing uh, 2 n times. 2 n times. Because I want 2 power n, so I am writing this thing 2 power 2 2 mod 7 n times. You all know that A is power 1 to B mod n. C is congruent to D mod n, then A into C congruent to B into D mod n. You can multiply to any types. Okay, similarly here, I am going to multiply all this 2 in, 2 in, 2 in, 2 in, how many types? In types, left side. 2 into, 2 into, 2, how many types? In types. Congruent to here right side also 2 into 2 into 2 into here also n times mod 7 mod 7 2 into 2 into 2 into n times means it is 2 power n congruent to here also 2 into 2 into 2 into n times means 2 power n mod 7 I keep this as 1. <coughs> so 2 power n is congruent to 2 power n mod 7. I got this 2 power n. When 2 power n is divided by 7, remainder is again 2 power n. Okay, whatever that n may be. Now I am taking this 6. 6 is congruent to 6 is congruent to which number mod 7? So like this, we have 6 is congruent to 6 1. Division algorithm for 6. 6 when divided by 7 gives a remainder 6 only. How many sums are in 6? So 7 into 0 plus 6. Like this. I told you already for this. The same method. We get 6 congruent to 6 mod 7. Okay. I got for this 2 power n. Then I got for this 6. Then I need for this 9 power n. 9 power n. So first I take 9. So 9 is congruent to which number mod 7? When 9 is divided by 7, the remainder is mod mod is 2. 9 is congruent to 2 mod 7. So like this, you have to proceed. Okay. 2 congruent to 2 mod 7. So here, 9 congruent to 2 mod 7, 9 congruent to 2 mod 7, 9 congruent to 2 mod 7, till n times you can take. Multiply all this, you will get therefore 9 power n 9 into 9 into like this 2 into 2 into 2 into n times. So here 9 into 9 into 9 into n times 9 power n. Right side 2 into 2 into 2 into like this 2 power n times more sub. Okay, I keep this as 3. What do I need? 
See, I got individually for all the terms. Two power n, yes, two power n comes from mod seven. For six, comes from six mod seven. For nine power n, also I got. Okay, now I have to add or multiply. We can add or multiply. Okay, the property says we can add or multiply from one, two, and three. From one, two, and three. I want two power n plus. So I write two power n plus. Two power n plus. Then six into nine power. Right side. For two power n, I get two power n only. Then plus is plus six into. For six, I get six. For nine power, for nine power n, the right side I get. Two power mod seven. This is equal to here two power n and here two power n. This is one time two power n. This is six times two power n. Together, one time two power n, six times two power n. So this is seven times two power n. Can you follow this? One time two power n. This is six times two power. Together, seven times two power. So seven times two power n mod seven. So this is a multiple of seven. Here it is mod seven. So multiple of seven. When you divide by seven, what do you get? The remainder will be zero. Seven into two power n is a multiple of seven. Okay. So this leaves the remainder zero. So this is equal to congruent. Congruent. So this is congruent to. Zero more seven. Suppose this number is this is greater than seven, right? Seven into something. This is a positive integer. N is a positive integer. So if you get a number which is greater than the divisor, I told you already how to divide this number by the divisor and write the remainder. So when you divide seven into two power n by seven, the remainder is zero. This is the multiple of seven. Is easily divisible by seven. The remainder will be zero. So zero. So when two power n plus six into nine power n is divided by seven, the remainder is zero. Means what? This is definitely divisible by seven. Therefore, two power n nine power n is always divisible by. So then, for all positive integers, yeah, okay, that you have to take a note of. For all positive integers, yeah, I hope you have understood, okay.